Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my November fairy loot unboxing. <laughs> really really sad that this will be my last fairy loot box in my latest unboxing i explained that these boxes even though the quality and everything is really nice and it's just a really really good box i love it so much the price for me as a poor student is a little too much that is unfortunately why i had to cancel my subscription so this will be my last unboxing for probably a little while but i'm really excited about it because the theme is like galaxy and sci-fi like centered and usually in like the fairy loot boxes they always do fantasy themes so uh, i'm really excited that they're kind of doing something a little different which is is kind of out of their comfort zone. Also, there will be seven items in this box, plus there was something with the edition of the book. There is a different edition which has been sent out to US and Canada subscription boxes, and then also to the UK because there were like a lot of policies surrounding the book. But let's dive into the unboxing. Ooh, I also, again, I always love these spoiler cards because look at this artwork. Also, blue is my favorite color, so I'm not gonna look at the back because it contains all of the spoilers about the items which are here in the box but as usual I will leave all of the like creators of these items in the description bar down below as well as all of my social media pages so because I'm a booktuber and I like to talk about books of course I have goodreads but I also have snapchat instagram plus an email address so links to all of that will be in the description bar down below the first thing that I see in here is a galaxy bath bomb I want to see what it looks like Ooh, okay it looks really pretty it has like purple um blue and black things and it smells really nice and the scent is called starburst scent so like i don't know i know that in america they have starbursts which are like the candies but i i have never had those so i cannot compare it to the candy smells just really nice and sweet fortunately i do have a bath so i can use that but if you don't then it's unfortunate for you Ooh, what is this okay this seems very intriguing i have no clue what this is gonna be the sound that it's making is really interesting what is this i have no clue what are, are these straws oh my god okay what does it say i want to know this looks so cool yes okay stainless steel rainbow straws i think this is just supposed um to be for like cleaning so that's really really useful and it also says something on them shine bright on this one so this is a straight straw and then here we have reach for the stars a lot of people have become very aware that using like plastic straws is super super bad for the ocean and like animals living in it i feel like these kind of straws have been really popular especially in the u.s because i feel like in the u.s you get a freaking straw with every type of drink that you get so these you can like reuse and they are really pretty so what i see next is a really big oh what is this exclusive stars and space coasters oh i opened the box on the wrong side these are four coasters with different quotes on them i think she was ready to figure out who she really was not what anyone else told her to be by marissa meyer scarlet oh these are like inspired by the lunar chronicles she dreamed of deep soul connections and passionate kisses and daring escapades i think is how you pronounce that word from cress even in the future the story begins with once upon a time by cinder and then here we have she would be brave she would be heroic she would make her own destiny from winter and i think that these kinds of coasters are always really useful so i think i'm gonna bring them to my dorm next up we have a reaper iron on patch i don't really know what this is inspired by oh it's inspired by red rising i see this patch says i am the reaper and death is my shadow i was like really struggling with reading is my it's very tiny you can put this on whatever you want and they featured this in i believe like one of their latest boxes as well stars and destiny wooden ornament okay so i don't think that i will have like a christmas tree like a really big one here at home but this is also really nice it's like room decoration it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves oh, that's a really nice quote it's a quote i think from william shakespeare it seems very interesting what is this wow this is a passport holder i think oh wow i did not have that yet so that's really cool and it it doesn't smell that great. It smells super plasticky, but it looks really pretty. This girl and the galaxy. This was an item that I still needed, so thank you, fairy loot. <laughs> I think this is our last item, and it's a toad back, and it's purple. I have so many toad backs, so I'm really happy that I got one because I really like them, but it's just that I have so many already. <laughs> it's a really pretty one, though. So this one says, 
Perhaps bravery is simply the face humanity wraps around its collective madness. A quote from Illuminate. So that was the last item. Now let's get on with the book. Okay, I see sprayed pages. So because I'm Dutch, I get the UK edition of this book and the UK edition has sprayed pages and the US edition, like US Canada, has a signed book plate, I believe. I have absolutely no clue what book is gonna be featured in here, but I believe the author is a very well-known person. <gasps> Brandon Sanderson! Oh my god, the New York Times bestselling author Brandon Sanderson Skyward Claim the Stars. <gasps> this cover though! Oh my god! I'm really really glad that I still got this box because this is a really good box. Like, oh my god, Brandon Sanderson. Okay, I'm really flabbergasted. I did not expect Brandon Sanderson to be featured in a fairy loot box and I'm not complaining because look at this cover. I'm not gonna read the synopsis for you guys because I would be rambling way too much probably, but I will leave the summary to this book somewhere up here on the screen so you guys can pause the video and read it for yourself. I'm just really happy, okay? Yeah, I'd say let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this box. I think this one is like, a solid, I'd say definitely an eight and a half out of 10, like especially the book made it for me and the straws. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Like I said, you guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages and then I hope that I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.